Welcome to Super Team's channel. This is our classic series wheel with flat braking surface for rim brakes. This is also the classic series wheel but with groove braking surface. We gave it a fancy nickname K Brake Line. This is not rocket science or new tech but we will do some brake tests and temperature tests using the same descent. The results may surprise you. And should you get the upgrade version, watch till the end. We'll be using the same bike, same tire pressures, front 80 and rear 85 PSI. The only difference is the wheels. In the first test, we would like to know if the braking distance would be shorter. The sign on the wall and my backpack is where I pull the brakes when the bike reaches 20 km per hour. I will try to squeeze the brakes as hard as I can without locking the wheels and skidding. I know, I know, braking only one time is not accurate enough to show the difference, so we will do three times for each wheel set. Altogether, six brake tests. The black instant pastas are to mark the stopping positions of the standard flat braking surface. The yellow paper box strings are to mark the stopping positions of the K brake line braking surface. I will also use a marker to mark the stopping locations because I need to go home to change those wheels. But don't worry, we will remove those marks later. Alright, let's find out. The maximum difference is about 6 meters. That's a huge difference for braking at 20k per hour. At higher speeds and in a life and death situation, K brake line might save you. But after all, ride safe and don't handle the speed you cannot handle. Let's do the temperature test with the same descent. The standard flat braking surface first. The rim temperature is 28 degrees before braking. Let's go down. After the descent and constant braking, it has risen to 38 degrees. That's a rise of 10 degrees. Next, the K brake line braking surface. The beginning temperature is 27 degrees before braking. After the descent and constant braking, it has risen to 31 degrees. That's a rise of 4 degrees only. I forgot to press record before this, so this recording is the second time already. The temperature increases were both 4 degrees. That's interesting. I think the inner part of the groove stays cool when the when the outside is heating up. That brings down the heat buildup. Some people may not understand, what does rim temperature have to do with braking? The section of row we use is short, so the increase is just about 10 degrees or less. But for a longer descent, the rim can get very very hot and some may worry that the rim will crack and the inner tube will explode due to high temperature. With the braking grooves to cool down the rims, the possibility of any rim damage is reduced. Not only is the braking distance shorter and the temperature lower, the K brake line is safer too because when I brake harder, the wheel is less likely to be locked. It feels like having an ABS on a bike so it's much safer. If you are on the fence when choosing the braking surfaces, at 50 US dollars for the K brake line, you won't regret. But there is one thing to note. 
The K brake line does cause more vibration and noise when braking. If you like it smooth and quiet, don't get the K brake line. I hope you can get your favorite wheels with the right options that work for you. Thanks for watching.